Hi everybody, um, it's the 31st of January, which for many of you will be the last day of the January. Um, 165,000 or so people have signed up this year, which is absolutely amazing. And many of you may have already decided to stick with it permanently, which is fantastic. Congratulations. And then many of you may be thinking, oh, I can't wait till tomorrow so I can have some milk chocolate or some cheese or a bacon sandwich or a burger or whatever it is that you've been craving and missing over the last month. So as an ambassador um, for Veganuary, I'm here to share a few of my thoughts and experiences and hopefully point you in the direction of some really great products as well that can uh, inspire you to stick with it or at least to do as much as you can, as frequently as you can, to make vegan choices. So, I first did Veganuary, well, I first went vegan four years ago. I did the first Veganuary as a participant in 2014. And at the end of that, I was very keen to <laughs> have some cheese and some chocolate again. But I have to say, it, I did try it and it just didn't taste the same. I think my sense of smell, my sense of my taste buds had all changed and so now um, chocolate I would say one of the best vegan ch substitutes for milk chocolate are the iChoc chocolates so have a look at those they are fantastic um, really really convincing my kids love them even my husband loves them cheese I would say is a little bit trickier and uh, pre-veganism I would have called myself a cheese connoisseur um, so some vegans say that yeah these cheeses are great and I haven't found a brilliant really convincing cheese substitute however my favorite vegan cheese is thyme cheese and their cheeses are raw cashew cheeses they don't taste like cheddar or anything like that they're completely different and I think if you taste them and you think of it as being a completely different cheese, something that you've never tried before, that's not trying to pretend to be anything else, then you will not be disappointed by the flavour, the texture. They're really special. They are perfect for after dinner cheeses. Um, they, you know, they're not, they're not cheap, but they're definitely worth it. And I'd say they are my favourites and my top tip for cheeses. Um, alternatives to meat. Now, these are really helpful for just creating standard dishes that your non-vegan friends and family will enjoy. Things for children, you know, I, I quite frequently, my children will have things. My favourite um, alternative to meat products is Fry's Family products. And I think you can get them in Waitrose. Um, you can definitely get them in health food shops like Holland and Barrett and all the, all the other health food shops as well. They are fantastic, really, really lovely. Although I have to say, Linda McCartney's burgers do barbecue really well as well. Um, so those are some product tips. Of course, you know, it's not just food, it's clothes, it's homewares, it's makeup, it's shoes, it's so many things to take into account. But I'd say one step at a time, do what you can. If you need any more inspiration or motivation, then maybe watch one of the documentaries like Land of Hope and Glory or Cowspiracy, What the Health, Forks Over Knives, Earthlings, there's loads out there. If you haven't got much time, just Google Dairy is Scary. <laughs> that might help. It really is scary. Um, good luck with it. If you need any more tips or hints or anything, just go onto the Veganuary website. There's lots and lots of information there that will help you to stick with it if that's what you want to do. And we're here to support you into making kinder choices. So good luck. I hope you've enjoyed Veganuary. And if you're wanting to find any alternative products and you don't know where to start, then leave a comment below and we'll try to help. Thank you.